welcome to a new video and now in this video we are going to talk about South America and I also will reveal how much six months trip to South America cost for me in 2023 so one year ago I was in South America I traveled around from Salvador in Brazil, I did the all the north part and then I went down to the Amazonas, to Manaus and also to Tabatinga but how much did everything cost in South America? I also went to Peru, Ecuador and Colombia I flew home from Colombia so in this video I'm going to talk about flights hotels, food, activities, yeah and a little bit, little bit more of that but this is the main topics in this video. So hit it now, now we're going to talk about the first thing I did. I am, I am from Sweden and the first thing I did I booked a flight from Gothenburg to Salvador in Brazil. And you can maybe ask how much did it cost to fly from Sweden to uh, to Brazil. Brazil. It's only cost me 500 US dollar. I was looking at flights like one month before I left. It was like, hmm, where is the best? Where is the best flight to in Brazil? And I found a very good price on Skyscanner. I also use another app called Kiwi. These two is um, the, the most uh, things I do when I look for flights. Kiwi and Skyscanner. And uh, I found one that also had a layover in Madrid. So it cost me five to six hundred US dollars. Uh, the flight to Brazil but maybe you ask also did I fly somewhere in Brazil yeah I took I took two flights in Brazil actually I took one from uh, Salvador to Recife and that that flight to, cost me around uh, it was 150 US dollars and then I also took another flight uh, from Manaus to Tabatinga and that flight cost me around, I think that was also around 160 US dollars. So, yeah, uh, I think the flight in Brazil is quite expensive uh, or not. It's, it's depending what you're comparing with. <laughs> but was a, I think it was, yeah, it's just, uh, I have looked in the prices now and this is around 200 US dollars. Uh, but the next thing is, of course, the other transportation in uh, South America. I took a lot of buses in uh, Brazil, a lot of buses in uh, Peru, in Ecuador and Colombia. But uh, the buses, yeah, the price is not that expensive if you compare to Europe or US. Uh, but still, it's one of the big things you if you're on a budget of course the transportation is a is a is a is a one big expense that you have to pay out on your on your from from your budget of course so uh, for example in in ecuador that the for like one one or two or three hours bus ride costs five to ten dollars I think the same was in Peru and yeah also the same price in Colombia it's like for one hour bus ride maybe two or three US dollars and for longer bus ride you can expect pay maybe 20 US dollars and the night buses can be everything from like 20 US dollars to 50 or 60 or 60 US dollars for example in Peru they have uh, so many bus companies so if you choose the, the budget option <laughs> uh, then you can uh, get, get around cheaper than if you 
pay a little bit more for like a more luxury bus. So the transportation is one huge thing uh, to consider. And another thing I did in transportation way, I take I took um, a cargo ship through the Amazonas for a week. First I went from Belém to Santarém, and then I stayed in something called Alta de Chao for a week, and then I went back to this cargo ship from Santarém to Manaus, and all together it was like eight, seven, eight days, and. That cost me, I, ha, I had to buy a hammock as well, so I slept in like an open space area with a lot of hammocks, a lot of locals, so it was a cool experience, but that, that cost me around, uh, I think the first cost me 40 US dollars and the second one from Manaus, uh, from Santarém to Manaus was 30 US dollars. What was uh, totally reverted because every, not every, the food was not included. The food on the, this cargo ship cost 10 US, no, 1 to 2 US dollars. Uh, I, sometimes I'm counting in Swedish, in, in Swedish kroners. <laughs> but yeah, so that was also a very good experience. And then also, you have to do a lot of activities in, US, in, uh, in uh, South America when you're there. The most expensive thing I did was something called Lynchus Maranaches in Brazil, in the north part of Brazil. Very close to something called San Luis, and also uh, they have sand dunes, water in the sand. It's, it's one of my favorite thing I have ever done in my life. I did hike there for three days with a with a private guide and he slept in the village, some villages, also in hammocks of course. And it cost me 600 US dollars for three, for three days, two nights. But then was, everything was included, lunch, dinner, breakfast uh, and a private guide that only spoke Portuguese. So we, we did communicate through Google Translate of course. <laughs> yeah, well it was a lot of Google Translate in Brazil and uh, in the rest of South America but also is one little uh, tips from the coach have a sim card and have internet and have Google translate on your phone if you don't uh, speak fluently Portuguese or fluently Spanish and other activities I was on two younger trips one in uh, in Brazil one other in uh, Colombia and it was the same price. I was in, in, in the Brazilian one, it was for three nights, two days. No, two days, no, two nights, three days. <laughs> and it cost me around two, no, yeah, around, that was, I think it was 200 US dollars, yeah. Around two, a uh, little bit less than 200 US dollars. And then everything was included, uh, you, your food, your transportation for an house out in the jungle. And uh, the same concept was in uh, Colombia in Laticia. And also everything was included on this uh, jungle tour as well. Uh, but I prefer the Brazilian one. I think that was better organized uh, somehow. Yeah, so Manaus was for me a better place to do the jungle experience than in uh, in Leticia. Uh, maybe it was because the company, the companies sometimes do a better job than other companies, so uh, or yeah I think the, the Brazilian one was way better than the Colombia one actually. But it was each of these tour cost 200 US dollars. And when I went to Peru I did something called the Santa Cruz hike. You hike up in the in the Santa Cruz area in Huras, outside Huras, and um, I took a guided tour there, and uh, it cost me also 200 US dollars. Everything, uh, multiple multiple days tours in South America seems that it costs 200 US dollars almost everywhere. Even in Colombia, I, I did a, a tour up in the north of Colombia, 
you drive to this uh, small uh, towns up in the northern part of the northern part point of uh, South America the most northern point in South America and this also cost me 200 US dollars uh, so it's so almost everything you do in, uh, in at least one year ago or one and a half year ago cost 200 US dollars <laughs> but then everything was included in, in this tour as well but this was like the three main tour I did I did uh, because I have been to South America before so I did not do Machu Picchu uh, of course if you go to South America you need to go to Machu Picchu but I did that 10 years ago so I cannot say the price of Machu Picchu but that is not included in, in the total price uh, and now we're coming to food how much did I spend on food each day it's hard to say I think in Peru and Ecuador it was quite easy to find local market go there to buy food and uh, yeah and Colombia the same concept you you go and eat a set lunch everywhere so you go in the, to these local places so you pay two euros or two US dollars then you get uh, a soup and then you get a uh, a chicken or meat and rice did uh, made it to the main course uh, I did it a lot of it in in, uh, in Colombia as well yeah. I did not do that that much in uh, in Brazil I did not find uh, these places in Brazil uh, uh, but I yeah so this is my also uh, how, how to lower your your daily costs to go to the local market and eat set lunch Otherwise, in Brazil, it's a good advice to cook your meal, because you see that you think that Brazil is quite affordable place, but this still is it's not that cheap in Brazil actually. It's more expensive than you think. Uh, but still, if you are, if you have the U.S. dollars, it will be more affordable than U.S. or Sweden or Norway and. Yeah, you name it. The most expensive countries is Brazil is still still affordable at at this moment. Um, yeah, so food maybe two three dollars two three dollars per per meal per yeah, and you eat sometimes you eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So it adds up. <laughs> sometimes you maybe one day you maybe eat for. Six, six to ten US dollars, and some days you eat for twenty dollars. It's depending uh, on your mood. Sometimes you're really craving a pizza. In Ecuador, I ate very some good pizzas, uh, and also in Colombia, I love pizza. So uh, then you have to pay more than maybe one pizza is maybe eight, eight US dollars, ten US dollars. Uh, at least in, in in Ecuador, I did not eat that much pizza in Brazil. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the flight home from Brazil, I flew home from uh, uh, the north part, the north north part of Brazil, a little bit the north of Cartagena, and it cost me from uh, this place to Oslo. I flew to Oslo. It only cost me three hundred US dollars. I think uh, less than 200, I think about 250 US dollars. Then I flew through US, so I have to have a, a ESTA in in US. So yeah, maybe total cost was 300 US dollars from uh, Colombia back to Sweden. Because you have to take the, a bus from uh, Norway to uh, Gothenburg, where I'm living. Yeah, so, so the total cost of everything in in my South American trip for six months. Du, 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 du. In US dollars was twelve thousand US dollars. That is everything. The flight to South America and the flight home and all all the activities and all everything in uh, in uh, in the in South America. And in Swedish kroners is hundred and thirty 130,000 Swedish kroners and in, in euros a little bit more than 11,000 uh, euros 
but also in in this part was how, how did I live? How did I live? How did I spend my nights? I spent in hostels almost 95 percent for six months I spent in hostels and the hostels in South America is between five to 20 US dollars. In, in Brazil was uh, between eight to 20 dollars and in Peru was a little bit cheaper it was between uh, five to 15 dollars depending sometimes also the breakfast was included in some hostels and in Ecuador was five to twelve dollars in Ecuador it was quite affordable and in Colombia I would say the price the normal price for a hostel in Colombia was eight to twelve dollars sometimes a little bit more if you're going to the beach area uh, it's more and also Cartagena if you go up in Cartagena uh, you pay more and also in, in South America they have come something called Selena hostel it's more like a fancier hostel and that is more expensive than sometimes you pay yeah I don't know I think I spent spend, uh, I stayed in Selena a few a few times and then I spent 20 US dollars mm. but it was they all have good internet connection uh, good beds it's, it's, it's like a concept hotel and a lot of no man's living there uh, staying in these hostels so but it's more fancier hostels so you don't need to stay in Selena and uh, yeah that's what's the cost so if you're planning to go to South America just leave a comment and I will uh, maybe recommend you some places to go to and you can see some videos up here and don't don't forget if you're planning to go to South America it will cost around 12,000 US dollars for six months maybe less if if you're two people and cooking cooking uh, and don't do any activities but that's boring you want to do you you want to experience everything so I think 12,000 US dollars is is a, you you can have a good trip a good life uh, in in South America and what this was a backpacking trip but this is everything for now and I will see you in the next one and in the next one maybe I will talk Swedish uh, so see you bye <laughs>